The NASCAR Pole One Cup Series is back on TA2, and today, with just three races left in the season, we head to Texas Motor Speedway for the running of the Polka Park 500. On the pole today, it is the 51 of Seth Cole, and on the outside is the 43 of Charles Roberts. Starting third is the 44 Ryan Gavel, and fourth is the 29 Austin LaPlante. And starting 5th is the 55 of Eli Sachs, and starting in 6th is the 24 Jonathan Thoman. 7th is the 31 Sam Constantine, and 8th is the 33 Matt McMurray. Starting 9th is the 25 of Lewis Gordon, and rounding out the top 10 is the 18 of Tim Fralick. And some notable guys to watch out for, Brendan Fan starts 13th, comes in 3rd in the points. He lost his lead at Atlanta. He tries to hopes to get it back at this race. Dylan Young, who comes in 2nd in the points, starts behind in 42nd. It's going to be very tough for him to close in if possible on Kenny Bell. Speaking of which, the 42 is starting in 31st. And now without further ado, let's hear those famous words in motorsports. Drivers, start your engines. And after this race, our, we only have two, we would only have two races left. Talladega and the season finale at Zangiltis. But now under the lights at Texas Motor Speedway for 34 laps. Could this be another race that changes the outcome of the chase? Last time in Atlanta, it really changed the point standing I mentioned earlier. Brendan Fan Law had the lead going in Atlanta and then he lost it after Atlanta. Now Kenny Bale's the one to watch out for as the points leader. But th could that be a change or will Bale hang on to the points lead? Green flag is out. We're underway at the Polka Park 500 at Texas. Seth Cole off to a rocky start. But wait a minute, here comes Ryan Gavel going for the lead. Three wide for third behind. Cole leads the first lap. And now the 44 retakes the lead over Cole. Here comes Sam Constantine for second. Oh, a spin behind. Spin behind. Caution's out. Race to the line. Here comes Lewis Gordon. But will Gavel hold on? Gavel holds on to take the lead. Under caution. There was a spin in the middle of the field. I'm not sure who caused it. We'll have to look back and see. I think we know. I think John Radican spun. Oh yeah, it was on top. It was in the middle of the pack. John Radican gets spun out right here by Matt McMurray. Charles Roberts held up. McMurray just couldn't stay a lot, couldn't stay. Jonathan Thoman was in it. Abby Sachs was in it. Rod Houston spun out as well. Oh, Tom, Kenny Bale made it through. The points leader made it through. So great job for him on making through that wreck. And surprisingly, no one else other than those three and Abby Sachs and Leia Walker slowed down so other than those five no one else got involved Ryan Galva your new leader he's won already this season he's going for that second win of the season Nick Barney Rod Houston done for the day they're done in 42nd and 41st that was quick Still about 30 laps to go at Texas, so still it's still early for a lot of developments to start to unravel. John Radican had to take him a bit of a pit stop to fix his damage. He's down to 40th. We'll see if he will come back up in time. Brendan Fan running in fifth. How about the 14 trying to make a comeback to the lead? He lost it at Atlanta. He's going to try to get get it back. With, and right now in 5th at Texas. Point leader Kenny Bell's 14. Dylan Young is 21st. Those are the top three in points heading into Texas. 
Will that change at all after this race? We'll about we'll find out after the after later. But right now the green flag is out again. Lewis Gordon on the bumper of Gavel. Here comes Jay Trost. Here comes Jason Trost going for the bottom as well. He's now second. He's eyeing that lead. Same for Seth Cole, the pole setter. Trying to go for the lead. Logan Faulkner trying to help pull out of the draft. Oh boy, it's bumper to bumper. Logan Faulkner wants it too. Cole leads the lap. It's gonna be bumper to bumper below. Oh boy, Faulkner, Lewis scored it on the bumper. Behind, three wide for the lead. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. 25, George Wark is now second. Wark tries the lead, now it's George Wark's turn in the front. Austin LaPlante on the bottom too as he tries also to get back on the lead. Aaron Williams in it. Brendan Fan is in it. Fan leads the lap. It's bonus points. Caution's out though. Who's going to lead? Three, four wide spin. Gavel spins. LaPlante slows down. End of the line. It's Max Skinner. From eighth to, to the lead. We'll get to that incident. Another incident happened. Jonathan Thoman was in it. Charles Roberts. George Rourke. The works. And we'll get to that too as well. But first, let's see what was the exact cause of the yellow flag. I think it had something to do with... Yep, Charles Sanford. Before, well, he's a top five competitor in the chase, and he's this is not what he needed exactly. Gets dumped by Pichu, and no one else got involved. Thank goodness, but Sanford's just not been his season so far of comeback, and he's still and he's the only. Ch and by the way, he's by the way, Sanford is the only chaser that has not won this season. He was lucky enough to even be in the chase. But, well, he's still looking for that first win. It's going to have to wait again. And here's the wreck that involved Ryan Gavel. It wasn't really a wreck, but it was a little bit of contact behind. They did manage to save it, though. But it cost them a ton of spots, and it causes another wreck in the end. Right here between Luke Walker, DJ Curtis spun, another chaser spun. Kyle Beck spins, Jonathan Thoman held up. Dylan Young, who comes in second in the points, held up. Not a good day for the two. Abby Sachs, Brenda Parasols, what happened to them? Pichu spun. Pichu spun out. And um, because of the wreck, Brenda Parasols gets held up as well. Right below down there. Boom, boom, boom. They go down, boom, boom, boom. The 99 is down. They also get wrecked out. Abby Sachs, hard hit on Pichu. Big hit on Pichu as well. My goodness. Kenny Bale made it through again. Good news for him if he wants to expand his points lead a bit. Guess what? Pit stop's underway, and Logan Faulkner comes out first after pit stops. George Ward, Kyle Beck, Lewis Gordon, Pichu, Eli Sachs, Charles Roberts, John Radigan. They're done for today. Don't know about Abby Sachs, PJ Williams, or Jonathan Thoman. Thoman's going to get back on track. Williams, no, um, Williams is a lap down. Sachs retired already, so Williams will be the lap car below with 20 laps to go. He'll be on the bottom of the leader, Logan Faulkner. The leader coming to the stripe, Max Skinner, will be sex. Brendan Fan moves up to third. Could this be his race to come back to the lead? Maybe. 
And he's got to face with against Seth Cole, the lap car, and of course the leader, Faulkner. Green flag is out. And Faulkner and Cole right off the bat just zoom by the lap car of PJ Williams. No problem for them at all. Boy, side by side, Caution's out again, Faulkner leads. Caution is out again. I think it was for DJ Curtis once again. Let's see what happened between Curtis and Freilich. Yeah, it was between Curtis and Freilich. Freilich hits the wall. Oh no, Curtis. Way too fast on Tim Freilich. And then Curtis tries to dump Freilich, but Freilich gets him back. And he spun the, spun the 16 as well. Yikes. And that wasn't much of a wreck, but still, a caution is pulled out. Once, and the leaders pit. Leaders take pit stop, but what is staying out? Nick Parasols is staying out to take the lead. Let's see if any of those retired. No, no one's retired. They're all clean. PJ Williams still that lap car, but the last time they zoomed by the the leader, the uh, lap car, no problem at all. Jonathan Thoman had to go down pit road a little bit. And, oh, Tim Freilich is done. Freilich is done. So, Freilich has just retired. Nick Parasol's the leader. Guess who came out first? Leia Walker! She won last race at Indy, her third this season, and now she's trying to join the four-win club. If there was ever any. Well, there's only one member, that's Brendan Fan, who, by the way, is running 11th. But Leia's trying to win it back-to-back -back and have the most wins for a TA2 driver since Season 1's Pichu. And that was before I knew better than I did know I knew a lot about Entertown 3. So... Cut me some slack. It was my very first season of the Pokemon Cup. That was known as the Pichu Series. And um, it was my very first NRG3 League I ever did. And look where we are now. Season 5. Nick Parasols though takes the lead with 15 laps to go. Will he finally break the winless streak? Green flag is out. Oh no, the Seth Cole Leo Walker wasting no time to challenge Parasols for the lead. Cole takes it away. Aaron Williams down 3-1, he's going on the bottom. Williams below, Williams gets it away. Max Skinner trying to battle too. Jordan Davis as well, helping in the draft. Four wide for the lead. Oh no, this is going to get ugly quick. Skinner leads. Oh, Williams spins with Cole involved. Williams spins. Cole is involved too. Jordan Davis leads again. McNamara going to battle for second against Skinner. Going to see this little battle front first. Jordan Davis going to lead to the caution. Who will take second? It's going to be... Max Skinner. Max Skinner led to the caution. And there you see the smoke coming off from the wreck. When that happened, before, coming off the wreck. Wow, tough break. Seth Cole, Aaron Williams running in the top five. And then all of a sudden, this wreck happens. Cole gets into Williams off turn one, and then Logan Faulkner, Zach Flickinger was in it. I think Nick Parasols might have gotten damaged. And Dabber, oh, wow, that was close. That was really close. Oh, no, Dylan Young is hit. Devin Whitson is hit, too. Oh, man. 
Sanford is hit. Charles Sanford is day gone from bad to worse. Ryan Gavel is hit. Thoman already on pit road with a lot of pro with car trouble. Oh my gosh, what a twist. Well, that's enough of that. Anyway, let's see anyone anyone retire from there. Seth Cole's done with the piston. Zach Flickinger is done. I don't know about the other ones on the lap lap down. Yeah, there are two laps down. Devin Winston is done. We do know that. Dylan Young's done. Ryan Gavel, Charles Sanford, Logan Faulkner, and Williams is done. That's it. We only have 21 cars on the lead lap. Half the field are left on the lead lap. P.J. Williams and Jonathan Thoman are lapped down, but since we have less than 10 to go, they're not going to be a factor in terms of the leaders. But even if they were a factor, they'd probably just zoom by anyway because they'll pass two of those restarts with them. The leaders have been able to take care of them. So, Eight laps to go here at Texas. Jordan Davis, the leader, trying to win again. Max Skinner in second, trying to get his first one of the season. Green flag is out. Davis comfortable lead here. It's not going to be for long though. Max Skinner going on the bottom with seven to go. Seven laps remaining. For some reason, I keep seeing Thoman on pit road there. <laughs> I don't know. I think it was some other car. For some reason, I keep seeing him. Man, it must have been mine. Must have been something. Anyway, Skinner leads. Jordan Davis trying to take it back. Lionel Walker going to go three wide. Uh, but I think there's going to be six to go. Davis takes it. Constantine and Faber. That one out for the lead. Charles Faber on the bottom. Can it be possible? Can Faber make it? Five laps to go. Fever's gonna make it. Next caution at this point into the race. We've had a ton of those today. Sam Constantine on the bottom now with second. Fever hanging on. Three wide battle for the top five. Nick Parcel's now in third. Ian Dutta down below. Fever hanging on with four to go. Faber looking for his first strike or another win in the piece in the series. Sam Constantine, same thing. Nick Parasol trying to break his winless streak. Trying to finally win a PCS race. He's now in third. Could it be the moment? No. Here comes Constantine. Constantine for the lead with three to go. Faber led that one. Dunna going to try to charge up for second. Dunna charging up. Could this be good news for Constantine? Ian Dunna is not in the chase. He's, he won last time in Atlanta. He's looking to go back to back. Looking to join the three win club. Two to go. If Dunna going to have a shot, he's going to have to do it now. Here comes Dunna. Could he win back to back? He won in Atlanta. He has a chance to go back to back. Here comes the lap car, PJ Williams. This might change everything. And Dunna's held up by PJ Williams. Constantine is off. And oh, what a heartbreak for Ian Dunna. White flag is out. A heartbreaker for Ian Dunna as he gets held up by the lap car, PJ Williams. And Constantine zooms by. Tyler Thabbers just pulls his competitor. Will he have a chance? Here comes the final turn. Now he's got one more shot. And it's not going to be enough. Off the final turn, Sam Constantine's going to win the Polka Park 500 at Texas. Sam Constantine, a winner tonight. Thanks to the help of the lap car of PJ Williams. 
Helming up the Ten of Talent of Ian Dunna, Sam Constantine was able to cruise on by for the win. And Tyler Thapper congratulating him on a win, on a job well done. A much needed win for the 31, I don't think they're, in the ch they're not in the chase, but a win is a win. But hey, a win is a win. We'll make the standings official, now they are. Sam Constantine, your winner. Tyler Thaber, second. Ian Dutta, third. He just, and the lap car just cost him the win. Jordan Davis, fourth. Or he made our move fifth. Brendan Fan, sixth. A good boost for him. Tross, seventh. McNamara, eighth. Parasol's ninth. And Kenny Bale just made it to the top ten. Just a sigh of relief there. Another top ten for Bale. A much needed one, too. And here's the rest. That is it from Texas. Point standings coming up. Your awards from Texas. Seth Cole, the pole. Jordan Davis was the front runner. Led seven laps. Tyler Thaber met the challenge. 33 places improved. Charles Roberts, the headache award. 30 places dropped. And the diehard racer was Jonathan Thoman. Now your point standings heading into Talladega. Kenny Bell cont continues to lead. Brendan Fan has retaken second, 26 behind Bale, and um, Dylan Young has dropped to third. LaPlan moves up trying to get a spot in in fourth. Charles Sanford stays in fifth. John Braddock in sixth. DJ Curtis seventh. Ryan Gavel eighth. Chris Washer ninth. And Avi Sachs rounds out the top ten. Rod Houston, John Skivnicki, and Eli Sachs round out the chase field. Next race is going to be a critical race. The next to last race of the season. Talladega Super Speedway. The last race before Den Joltis. Anything goes. Hope you guys stick around. We will see you later.